The Replacement by Brenna Yovanoff Danny gave me a hard look. When his situation started to get too weird or too bad, he could generally be counted on to turn it into some kind of joke, but he wasn't smiling now, not even close. Kind of a strange place to have a misunderstanding, though. What did he want? You're dying, you're dying. I glanced in the direction of the fire door without meaning to. The doorway was empty and the green exit sign still glowed over it, flickering a little. Danny was watching me with a blank expression. What did the guy want? He wanted to take me somewhere, or to tell me something, or give me something. He said that he wanted to save me, and I wanted that too, only not in the middle of the starlight where everyone could see, and not by someone with black flashing eyes and yellow teeth. I couldn't shake the way Danny was looking at me, like he was waiting for me to show myself. I was saved from answering by Tate. She came back to the tables, breathing hard. Her face was shiny with sweat, and there was a rip down the shoulder of her t-shirt, where someone in the pit must have grabbed her by the collar. She pushed herself up to sit on the half-wall just as Alice came down the steps behind her. I figured they must be hanging out together, even though I never saw them talk in class, but Alice walked right past Tate and came over to me. "'Hey, Mackie. I was looking for you. You seemed kind of rough yesterday. Roswell said you went home. Are you feeling better?'